In the previous video, you saw how we found eigenvalues and eigenvectors for a matrix of order 2. Let's see how we find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for matrices of order 3. We'll start by an example. Let's say we have to find the eigenvalues and eigenvector for the matrix A here. First thing we do is we form the matrix A minus lambda i and then we will solve the determinant A minus lambda i. We'll equate it to 0 and this will give us an equation in lambda. We can use either the traditional method of solving the cubic in lambda or we can use the formula lambda cube minus c naught lambda square plus c1 lambda minus c2 is equal to 0. What are these c naught, c1, c2 values? Let's see. c naught is found by adding all the diagonal elements. c1 is nothing but the sum of minors of the diagonal elements and c2 is the value of the determinant of the matrix A. So, if we add the values, we find C0 comes out to be 4. C1, which is the sum of minors, comes out to be again 4. And C2, which is the value of the determinant, that will be equal to 0. This gives us the equation lambda cube minus 4 lambda square plus 4 lambda plus 0 is equal to 0. If we pull out lambda, we get lambda is 0 or lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 is 0. This gives us three roots. Lambda 1 is 0, lambda 1 is 0, lambda 2 is 2 and lambda 3 is equal to 2. So, Let's find the eigenvectors corresponding to these eigenvalues one by one. When lambda 1 is equal to 0, we will solve a minus lambda i x is equal to 0. We'll substitute lambda 1 is equal to 0 in the given system. And this will give us the following matrix. Now, first method is using Gauss elimination method. So here we will first reduce our matrix A into the row echelon form and then we will solve the equations. We can see that here the third column does not have a pivot so that becomes our independent variable. We will call x3 is equal to k and then we will form the other two equations x1 minus 2 x2 plus 3x3 is 0 and x2 minus x3 is equal to 0. This will give us x1 is equal to minus k, x2 is equal to k and x3 is equal to k. The eigenvector will be x is equal to minus k, k, k. If we pull the k out, we get the corresponding vector as minus 1, 1, 1. Now, alternatively, we can use another method where we can use any two equations which are not dependent on each other and we use the rule explained below. So here, let's say a1x1 plus a2x2 plus a3x3 is equal to 0 and a1b1x1 plus b2x2 plus b3x3 is equal to 0. These are two independent equations. So, we will first arrange them starting from the second column. So, we write a2, b2, a3, b3. Then we write a1, b1, a2, b2. Now, we get the following equations. How do we get them? We will first write x1 upon the determinant of the values a2, b2, a3, b3 is equal to x2 upon the determinant of a3, b3, a1, b1 is equal to x3 upon the determinant of a1, b1, a2, b2. Here you can see that a2, b2, a3, b3, they all form a full circle. Now, if we solve the determinant, we will be getting the equations x1 is equal to a2, b3 minus b2, a3 is equal to k into k 
x2 is a3 b1 minus b3 a1 k and x3 comes out to be a1 b2 minus b1 a2 k. Let's use this for solving our system minus 4 8 minus 12 6 minus 6 12 6 minus 8 14 x1 x2 x3 0 0 0. Remember here we have already substituted lambda is equal to 0. So the first two equations or the first two rows in the matrix we can see are independent. So we can safely use them. Now here a2 is 8, b2 is minus 6, a3 is minus 12, b3 is 12 and a1 is minus 4 and b1 is 6. If we substitute these values in the previous form, we will be getting x1 as 24k, x2 as minus 24k and x3 as minus 24k. So x, the eigenvector, comes out to be 24k minus 24k and minus 24k. If we pull out the 24k outside, we'll get the eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1 is equal to 0 as 1 minus 1, 1. If we multiply the vector by minus 1, we will be getting our the vector which we had found using our equations. So this will then give us minus 1, 1 and 1. Let's find the eigenvector corresponding to lambda 2 is equal to 2. So we will now substitute lambda 2 is equal to 2 in the matrix A minus lambda 2 i x is equal to 0. The final matrix which we get is this. As the last two equations are same, so and look at the first one that is minus 1 times the second and third equation. So it is enough to solve only one equation. We will write, the, we'll take the first equation and solve it. We'll take minus 6x1 plus 8x2 minus 12x3 is equal to 0. And here the second column and the third column does not have a pivot. So x2, x3, they both will be our independent variables. Let's take them as a and b. So when we substitute them, we get x1 is 4 by 3a minus 2b. So this eigenvector can be split. When we write x1, x2, x3, we'll take out a and we'll write the values 4 by 3, 1, 0. And from the other column, plus b minus